All right, well, I'm in the shop again this morning. Planted corn last night till... Oh, uh, it was midnight till I backed the corn planter in the barn, so... But, uh... I wanted to send a video out to, uh... Scotty Rock Trains and his cousin, the soybean farmer, and, uh... The method for calibrating his grain drill. Uh... Luckily... I have a John Deere 8000 series grain drill operator's manual. And this is what I used. Uh, I still do calibrate it every now and again, but as long as the beans are the same, I just kind of usually run with it. Uh, what I used to do, and I could email this to you, Scotty, if, if you give me an email address. Uh, in the back here, there's a place where it gives you wheel revolutions per acre. And uh, as you guys seen from the video, I have a 750-20. And I don't know, on the implement rib is the one I had for the, for the, for the drill I did this the most with. Uh, I think that 80, the bigger drill was the double ribbed. But anyhow, that gives you wheel revolutions per, per acre. I would uh, block off most of the, most of the drops, leave one open on the end, fill up enough beans in the corner of the box that I could, could, uh, it would only drop out of one drop and then I would jack that side of the drill up and if I had the drills out of the barn or the dark I could show you but I would jack up one corner of the drill and turn the wheel turn the tire I'd turn the tire 15 times and that would give me five ounces and I had half half the holes blocked off so that it was nine holes which yielded me 45 ounces of beans I divided by 16 to convert to pounds which give me 2.8125 pounds times 29 because 29 uh, times 15 turns give me my 435 rotations per acre uh, and that give me 81.5 pounds per acre. Now, I don't know how accurate you want to be, but there is, uh, there's, the, there's the method I used, and it kind of explains it all in here, too, um, and how I did it. Um, it also explains in here about uh, the feed gate on... Uh, Feed gate position number two, set the feed gate in the latch two position when drilling small size peas, common beans, soybeans, corn, and extra and extra large quantities. Uh, down here is seed gate three, which I have never used, but uh, when drilling large peas, soybeans, and kidney beans. Um, I would set it I would set it on position one for oats and then set it on position two for soybeans but uh, there again I could I could email this to you if you if you uh, yeah I've spent a lot of time with these grand drills. I rebuilt one well I've rebuilt both of them because the the feed cups were were bad and uh, the old ones were pot metal and the oat mouse poop and the uh, pee they just ate the pot metal ones up and i replaced them with plastic but uh yeah they're setting setting the feeds uh and here's something else i found too it's my parts parts drawings i believe 15 and 16 here 
and uh, you can buy these parts the door and the lever 33 and 32 Let's look over here 33 and 32 lever and the gate uh, and then number 15 and 16 here is aluminum aluminum and plastic and if you want them part numbers there they are so anyhow I seen uh, the soybean farmer was having some problems and I thought maybe I could help so uh, anyhow thanks for watching yeah I just wanted to add one thing after the uh, when you jack this thing up and capture these beans that come out of the 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 one single drop uh, you have to put the planter down in gear or in you know as you were planning put the put the collapse the cylinder and uh, you have to jack it up and you have to put a I usually put a a seed sack or something cut it open and put it underneath the drop to capture the seeds as they fall so just thought I'd throw that in there cuz uh, I want to clarify that so anyhow thanks for watching and I uh, hope this helps somebody uh, I think soybean farmer and Scotty Rock are getting some storms down there now so maybe they can get this back up and running before the uh before the weather clears up so thanks for watching god bless you